Welcome back to part 54 of Pokemon Heart Gold. And it's time to go into the radio tower and bust up the chops of Team Rocket once again. Okay, and there's a rocket dude. And, uh, we can't go up here? Uh, okay. I think we have to go through, like, the game corner or something first, maybe? Uh, let's see. It's been a while since I've got played this far through this game. Uh, or oh, wait, maybe the game corner is something else. Okay, I'm thinking of first gen with the game corner and Rocket's hideout, apparently. Uh, well, I do have my gold and silver guide. If, if I get too stuck, I can look back at exactly what you were supposed to do. Uh, I remember there's something with the underground. Uh, I probably should have went in the other door because it's closer, but whatevs. Or is it? Uh, no, it is this one. Uh, okay, we can't go in there yet. Uh, I'm gonna check my gold and silver guide because, like, I forgot what you do. So, just a second. Okay, so uh, near as I can tell, we're supposed to go into the radio tower first, which was what I initially thought. Uh, but oh well. Also, I took the bicycle off of Y, surprisingly, because I wanted to put the dowsing machine on there. Because uh, I actually haven't showed you guys the dowsing machine just yet, but uh, it's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. Nanda omai. Tadaima. Okay. How much did you get the crap out of her way? Okay, I I don't know what's going on. Like, what's the move DS? Uh, okay, this is like, am I missing something here? Like, I have the badge. Dang it. Okay, this is see, this is one of these parts in the game, I keep losing the DS, where uh, this game being in Japanese is a handicap because I don't understand it well enough to uh, figure out what the crap to do. Uh, so this is going to be, I think this is the first time where I've actually gotten stuck like this because, I don't know, it may be something new in this game. Like, oh, I actually get to fly on Pidge, I didn't think about that. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go talk to Elm and see if he'll give us a key. I don't know. Okay, Elm, what's the what's? Oh, I need to turn my running shoes off. Uh, what's the deal? I guess we could also give that uh the red scale to Mr. Pokemon if we wanted to. Also, let's look at that thing, or I'm gonna look at it anyway. It's a key item, I think. Oh, by the way, speaking of stuff found at the Lake of Rage... Yeah, there it is. It's, uh... Kind of looks like a red scale. Uh, the Lake of Rage is apparently, like, flooded. Like, you have to surf over treetops and stuff. It's kind of interesting. And, uh, I went ahead and went up there and got stuff. Also, you can fly there. I don't know if, you, if I mentioned that. You can fly to the uh, fisherman's house. Which is kind of neat. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, okay. Uh, the map, like, has to scroll once you unlock Indigo Plateau and all those places. Uh, anyway, back to Goldenrod, I guess. What is going on? Like, why can't we get into the radio tower? Like, I really don't know why we can't get in the radio tower. Because, is it... Okay, here's some people. I, I'm just going to talk to all the rockets and see if something's going on. Uh, okay. Here they are uh, doing something with the gym. They're, block they're like blocking off everything in the city. What are those up there? Those are like those things you see at, like up here at the top lo top left. Like those are those things that I've only seen in Animal Crossing, where they like 
guard the beach or some crap like that? I don't know. <sighs> Stop saying Nanda. That's just getting irritating that you keep saying the same words. They're even blocking off the GPS. Okay. This is kind of starting to get irritating. Is there like a back door we can take? Why can't we get into the radio tower? Okay, what was that last katakana where he said? Uniform? Oh, okay. Oh, I bet I get what we have to do. See, if I, if I, once again, Cooper, if you just read the stupid katakana, you might actually get a clue. Uh, okay, so we're going to go up this way, because I remember uh, from, I can't remember which vid it is, but uh, an earlier vid, we can get like a Team Rocket uniform from down here, some crap, and probably not permanently. Uh, okay. Mm. Minba, okay. We're gonna like temporarily jo pretend to join Team Rocket, I guess. We still have our backwards cap, which is funny. And I well, keep stop moving the DS. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now we look like a Team Rocket member. Okay. So this explains those like spoiler pictures or whatever that I've seen of uh, Kotone and Rocket uniform or whatever. So yeah. I guess that explains those why and why they're spoilers. Uh, okay, cool. Maybe we'll be able to get in to the place now. Of course, our cover's gonna be blown as soon as uh, we start, like, killing rocket dudes, right? Okay. Oh, we get the rival fight. What? Yeah, okay, till done. Alright, I don't know if we get a rival fight yet. Oh, he's gonna say, oh, you did not just join Team Rocket. We're looking away from him, like, like, what are you doing in Team Rocket, Voltron? You already sucked. Now you're suck even more so we're like nope we're not in team rocket and he's like i got bamboozled and dude pushes aside the rival and fights us anyway huh okay so that made this video a little bit more interesting and that i had to flounder around for a little bit pack and eradicate uh okay let's see all that i can't remember which one is mirror move uh i'm gonna use fly because fly is a little bit stronger Yeah, I think he went for bites, maybe crunch, I'm not sure. Probably still won't kill, but uh, it'll get it down there. Yeah, I got it down to one hit point. Good thing he didn't use reversal, huh? And you better not use reversal or flail, or I don't think that thing can learn flail, but uh, reversal, better not use it now. I have a scary face. Pursuit was somehow able to deal one damage. I'm uh, glad it was able to deal one damage. Uh, another Raticate, and we're gonna go out to Keith because he has the, uh, you know, double kicks and stuff. Alright, go for a double kick. And cool, it's gonna one shot the guy, so good choice there. Alright, so that guy wasn't that bad. Uh, I think the rival fight's supposed to come later. Okay, so he's gonna fight us later, but uh, I know at some point he fights you in this. I think it's after you go underground, because remember the rival hates Team Rocket too, because uh, you know it's his dad, right? Spoilers, uh, spoilers. Maybe not canon spoilers, but uh, spoilers nonetheless. And uh, we're probably gonna have to fight this guy and call it a video. I don't think all these rockets fight you, but most of them do. Also, I couldn't tell it was a girl from her overworld sprite. Sends in an Arbok, making like Jesse. And what do we want to do? Uh, I guess we'll see how much Aerial Ace does. See if we need it, or fly to it KO. And wow, we probably should have went with double fly. Uh, anyway, we'll go with fly now. 
see, if Keith had Earth Power, like, it would be, like, no problem, but whatever. I don't think he gets Earth Power until level 40-something, so... Look, see, this stuff is just, like, not leveling up fast enough in this game for us, I guess. We get paralyzed, so I don't want to risk getting para-hacked on, uh, stuff, so I'll just aerial ace, and that... I did get para-hacked, okay, so I'm gonna have to switch, because Crunch did over 50%, and, uh, we're gonna go out to... Punk? Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna have to magnitude and probably call it a video, right? Thankfully, Quick Claw activates. And we finish off the dude. Alright, see you next video. Later days.